<clears throat> so yeah, last time we uh, we got through our first chapter, I think actually. Yeah, <clears throat> there's a lot of dialogue, and yeah, there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, world building to start. Excellent work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. <laughs> it was easy. Yes, it was. Further proof that you're well qualified to guide the Black Eagles. That was impressing, Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won. I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. Was it something I said? Is it so odd, me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, I'm canceling the festivity so we can discuss this topic further. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. Mm. I did. <laughs> Not really. I did. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. <laughs> those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each <laughs> month before the newly birthed moon departs, each <laughs> house of Wait, students come through my speakers as well. Their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget. That's okay, as long as it's not getting picked up myself. by my mic. It's good. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. <laughs> Bandits, they say. Bandits. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> we still don't know who you this uh, know other girl is. Always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. Um I still don't understand who are you? <sighs> Whatever shall I do with you? <laughs> well, I mean, you just tell us why you're in my head. I am alive within the confines of your heart. Okay. I am unknown. This is like a Yu-Gi-Oh uh, thing. Your eyes and ears. Yami Yogi. Just listen to your heart as you are doing now, and we may 
may speak like this. That is all that I know. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pips. Who is this guy again? No one said anything about the Knights of Dance Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Uh, damn you! <clears throat> Part one White Clouds Heartstring Moon Familiar Scenery In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon. The people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. All right. <clears throat> so the real uh, game begins now. I want to believe that before, during the uh, first chapter. So the first chapter is you actually fight against the other two uh, houses. And, um, of course you're tasked to win, because <clears throat> you are yourself. <clears throat> Let's see, so there are new places to explore in the monastery. I uh, received 2G. Uh, from the Church of Seros as funding for this month's activities. Yay, money. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. Use your time wise. The last time we fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. Let's see. Last time I fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor. Let's do our best. The knights are well aware of our enemy strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, let's do all we can to prepare. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Um, I think so. Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, 
But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. Bing. Annette's birthday. Like to buy flowers? Sure. Thank you. I forget what happens when your uh, support stat maxes out with uh, somebody. The monastery holds events with various effects, uh, such as those with uh, which increase the benefits of the share meal activity for certain characters. These events will appear on the calendar. Select Explore on your day off to participate. <laughs> the shops at the marketplace. Oh yeah, yeah, we don't have that much money. <coughs> um, like this guy. He could technically... I think he can use... Oh, he could use anything, really. Okay, so everyone has... So it looks like everyone is somewhat able to use uh, any uh, weapon, per se. They just, you know, need to train up uh, on it. Let's not buy anything. I wonder if you can actually buy... Let me just check the shop one more time. Yeah, it looks like... So far it looks like you can't buy, like, <laughs> special things. You're saying enough, you can't buy... Oh, actually, no, let's, let's look. Yeah, let's look at these other shops. The main shield. BRT protection. <clears throat> oh, here's the seals. Allows you to take the certification exam for a beginner class. And I guess eventually we will uh, evolve our people into different classes. Um, I believe you have to at least be level 10 to uh, evolve. <laughs> I might be wrong, <clears throat> but... I believe for the best stats, you want to uh, max out first. I, again, in the original games or the uh, earlier games, uh, you max out level 20. And um, at that point, you would evolve. And then you can do another 20 levels. And that's like 40 levels worth of stats. Um, so you never want to evolve early. <clears throat> so you're just missing out on stats. Granted, you might not actually get to full level. Depending on how you play the game. Um, yeah, so those are the seals in there. What about... Don't have those yet. Okay. Well, that's that. So let's uh, walk around. What's up? Alright. From the map screen, you can travel instantly to places you have already uh, been. Press R to open the map. Select a destination and then press the A button to fast travel. Press the X button to see where to find each character and facility as your selected location. Girl's voice, what could he mean? Girl's voice. Speak with our house leader. House leader, you can't jump over here. Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, Daddy? how could my child know? 
Wait. It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. <laughs> By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Recruit. <clears throat> we can add it to our level. Or to our... Hmm. Professor. That's an... It's not normal to... By the time you're... I guess if you put it that way... No question about this. Um, adding to our party thing. Hey, do you... That's enough, Leone. It's not normal to forget your own. By the time. I guess if you put it that. Your quest. I have a request. A real battle this month, huh? Even the Knights of Seros are involved. I never thought you. Uh, I never taught you much about tactics, but now uh, there's a primer on it in my room. Give it a read. Starting with this month's mission, you can now lead a battalion into battle. Search for the tactics primer in the captain's quarters and peruse it to get up to speed. <clears throat> get to the captain's quarters. So I'm assuming I could uh, potentially Hello. add anybody to our squad. Um, and again, we just have people from the... Black Dragon, not Black Dragon, <laughs> Black Eagle, uh, land, whatever. Right, right. So, <clears throat> yeah, I believe you can just add almost anybody. They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Of course, not everybody, but I think as long as they are part of one of the houses <clears throat> or one of the other houses, I should say, then we could add them. You know, Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess. I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some night he is. <coughs> Bored. Maybe I should go into town. But that would be such a hassle. So I wonder oh, if I can <clears throat> add her to our I'm party at all. Busy right now, so do make it quick. Uh you don't look too busy to me. Uh let's kind of agree with her. Are you sure? I thought you'd <laughs> found me out for a moment there. Oh, she's not busy at all. That's okay. Sylvain. Uh, of course, he's surrounded by chicks. <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? Hey, Professor. Pretty great timing. I want to ask you something. I'd like to be in your class, if that's possible. I've been thinking, maybe I ought to get serious about studying. Mm, not right now. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I'll just try to be more focused and get stuff done in my current class. And hey, if an opportunity comes up, I'd like to know. Oops. <laughs> Looks disappointed. I was thinking the Knights of Saros are also known as the <laughs> I think it's going to get to a point where I should uh, you know, recruit Saros. different there are many class of uh, but we are the only one that members into our class. Because again, I believe the Black Eagle mainly focuses it on range and magic. We do have a couple of warrior types, but again, might need to, you know, enlist the aid of other class members. Let's see. That person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. Oh, do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now.
Oh, there's a <clears throat> back says night up there. Oh, there's our class leader over here. Perhaps for some students, this will be their first time stepping onto a real battlefield. It's important that they're mentally prepared. As for me, <laughs> do I look green? Do I look green to you? Is there anything else you wish to ask me about your hair. regarding spending? Even then, the and her hair is only in the battles? only green in her drawing. Just as students have much to learn from other students, professors can also share their knowledge with each other. You should consider seeking instruction from Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. I think you'll find their insight quite interesting. You can increase your skills by training with knights and professors in the monastery. Use the training option or faculty uh, training option to benefit from their wisdom. As the story progresses, faculty training will, bec uh, will become advanced drills. Use this option to learn from any unit with a higher skill level than your own. Which house a student is assigned to depends on where they're from. That said, each professor has their own area of expertise. So if a student is adamant about it, it is possible to switch someone from one house to another. Pending your approval, of course. If you become closer with the students by partaking in the various activities around the monastery, you'll be able to talk to them about such things. Oh, I see. <clears throat> to recruit students from the other houses, you will need to meet their requirements. Each student prioritizes different stats and skills. It is easier to recruit students who like you. So try building up your support level with uh, students you'd like to recruit. Certain non-students will become available for recruitment as the story progresses. Um, what? Talk to you. I fully accept the necessity of real battle from time to time, but it is still a surprise to be tasked with punishing bandits without warning. It is a rather different sort of mission. It makes me wonder what the Archbishop is planning. You do not approach me. Oh, what? Oh, why? <laughs> if you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. Oh, I see. I hear you've been tasked with hunting down bandits, right? Bandits. Meanwhile, my class is stuck with a downright peaceful mission. Sure, I've got your ass whooped. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't let the monastery down, Teach. Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. I guess just <clears throat> talk to as many people as possible. Oh, we're moving on. Sir. Hello. Oh yeah, she's from my class. Truth is, my um, undershirt. My undershirt got blown away by the wind. What? A and it's not important why. It only matters that it's pale blue. Mm, let's search for it. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's so shy. What's this cake doing out here? Cake? <laughs> cake? Mm, cake. Wait, let me, uh... Okay, I was like, <laughs> am I stuck like this? Mm -mm. Can I see the map? 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 
Can't see the map. Oh, there it is. All right, try to look at the greenhouse before I do anything. Right. I've got to find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty? How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? I like sweet foods. Ooh, same. I'll definitely remember that. But you're not joining our party. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Um, <clears throat> let's not progress time yet. Any quests? Oh, there are plenty of quests. Next mission is a real battle. This isn't child's play. Come see me for advice. Oops, I didn't mean to fast travel. Looks like there's a bolt in. Oh, what's this? Sweet apple blend. What's our room? I'd like to spruce out the menu in the dining hall. If you have any recipe ideas, let me know. Calling all students and richer bodies and minds through choir. Choir. Is it the cathedral to unlock the ability to fast travel here? Uh, seeking intel on strange movements um, by the Western Church. Weapons and stuff. Okay. So apparently, there's two places I haven't visited before. <clears throat> yeah. Sprint. Is the cathedral? It looks like it. It's Shamir. Have we, met? we haven't, oh, but sorry. <laughs> I'd like to meet Must you. Be my imagination. The base. Have we met? No. So looks like there's people outside of our party or our uh, <clears throat> outside of our um, classes that maybe we can. Uh, Or is this one ready? Oh yeah, they are. Mm. I can only do one. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, whatever. Go for the seas to get the green housekeeper. Check back when you explore the monastery on a free day. Um. Some air mid water. <laughs> Please. Uh, hello. Hello, Marianne. You look very tired. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, nope. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, purple flower seeds. I'm assuming we're gonna eventually be able to plant more than just one <clears throat> bundle of seeds, right? Oh, what? what was that? I have no idea. Read that a little fast. I didn't read it at all, actually. Mm, don't want to do fishing. Can't go that way. Cat. That's a donkey cat. Dogus. Pond snail. So, greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. Oh, we found the bazaar, right? Or the marketplace? <coughs> oh, the cathedral's right behind us. Cool. the cathedral this is not the this is the cathedral this is not the cathedral it might be i have no idea <laughs> it says entrance hall 
Could be the entrance hall to the cathedral. Hey. Hey. You look bored. Care to duel? Care to duel? To the death? What? I just wanted to spot. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I came on too strong. You there? We will accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. Hey, oh, Professor. Ooh, nice. How are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. I don't need. I don't luck. need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, what? It's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Way too many like Scythia. today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Well, everyone knows a plate full of sweets is far preferred to a plate full of vegetables, regardless of age. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even spring here has coolness. Uh, and you, Professor? <clears throat> which do you find is worst? Too hot it's worst. or too cold weather? Mm, the heat. But you are wearing many things, Professor. <laughs> am I really? The heat, am I? You should be wearing lighter clothes. I am. <laughs> I know they're probably not programmed to see that I'm wearing uh, something else, but... Hmm. I feel like that's a quest, right? Get creative cuisines. I have no idea. <clears throat> Let's keep uh, exploring here. Where's the cathedral, I wonder? Anybody else I haven't talked to you yet? Mm. So there's like a whole place to our right that has not been explored. I was thinking. A moment, please. Can't go past here. What? <clears throat> I was thinking. What about the door is just open for us? Okay. They just won't let us go through there for some reason. Let's go upstairs. Hey, you. Hey. Apparently, there's something in here. Xanadel, the Red Canyon, is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble. Those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. Found it. A book containing the basics of tactics. It doesn't look like it's been read much. No. Nice right. Quest to complete. Nice. Uh, access the items uh, in, menu, in menu to use, store, take, or swap items for your units. Items that cannot be carried will be sent to the convoy. Assess the abilities and combat arts menu to equip your units with uh, what they have uh, learned. Use battalion menu to assign battalions to your units. Use the reclass menu to switch a unit's class to any uh, for which they are certified. Uh, classes. A unit has mastered are marked with a star. Mm, see, I can finish today. I can just keep exploring. I really thank you for paying me a visit. Is there anything troubling you, or is there perhaps something I can help you with? Um. You seem to be getting along well with the students. 
I would advise you to be confident in your abilities. The rest will fall into place in time. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. Oh, oh, it's a random room with nothing in it. Okay. I wonder where the cathedral is. Maybe I'm just not able to get there right now. Maybe it is that, you know, <clears throat> darkened room. Uh, I should probably go up to that one room on the first floor. I wonder if I can get to the third floor. They let me. I don't see a way to get there. Maybe it's just not available yet. What? Or is it? Nope, straight there. So it's there, but it's not available <laughs> for us to go upstairs. Oh, this is that study hall. Oh, there's somebody in here. Oh, yes, this guy. Guiding the students in the mock battle, taking command like that, simply splendid. Splendid. And bearing the unknown crest power. Yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. I love this library. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. You learn so much from books. I agree. They're brimming with the knowledge and experience of our ancestors. <laughs> but you can't come up to a party then. But we just had all of the... There's a lot of books we just read. Let me just read one. Uh, it's too much to read. Never mind. I take it. Swimming through a sea of countless <coughs> books, tracking down that single sought-after volume, it's absolute bliss. <coughs> How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? Yeah, there's a satisfaction of doing that. A satisfaction even the uh, cleaning. A fake staircase. I should probably try to get to that one hallway to our left there. Let's go back downstairs. I'm booking it. Oh wait, <laughs> we can just fast fast travel. I love how the switch is trying so hard to keep up with us running around. Um, the theme is wrong. It's supposed to be like a way over. Maybe it's just not available. No. No. Oh, here it is. Yes. Oh, it's not available. Not available. <clears throat> All good though. Let's uh Let go here. Oh, yeah. oh, Professor. 
Ferdinand. Do you know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position of prime minister in the empire. The empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready if you would like to take notes. I'm ready. All right. Oh. I will list the six great noble families. There is Caspar's father, Count Burgley's. Oh, I can remember this. <laughs> affairs. Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial House. No, sad because I'm not going to remember <clears throat> my own class's names <laughs> for a while. Affairs. And my own father, Duke Iyer, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. What? I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. Mm, I look forward to that. There is nothing I cannot achieve. <laughs> this guy. Well, hopefully we'll, uh... Oh, this probably is the cathedral. Yes, it is. It's locked, though. Can we not go inside? In there. Here's an idea. I hear the Officers Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. <laughs> In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. Hi. Hi. Hello? So there's a... I have a favor to ask. Uh, I've been thinking about starting a choir and I need a volunteer who can help me get off, get off the ground. Can you help me find some students who love music? Find out which students are passionate about music. It seems there was a sign-up sheet being passed around the dormitory uh, seeking students to join the choir. Cool. Mercedes. Wait, there's a couple of songstress uh, characters. I believe Mercedes is one of them. Me too. Shall we pray together? The cathedral is nice. Hey, there's something else. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? Sure. You don't sound terribly sure. <laughs> Perhaps you are not of noble birth? Bah. After all, devotion is not as essential for a common. So, inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole. Keyhole? And your favorite professor now that you are a member of the church be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and I like traditions. <laughs> keyhole just because it sounds like a I have keyhole. something to ask of you uh, the western church which rules over the western parts of Portland has lately made some strange troop uh, movements uh, if you hear anything uh, concerning be sure to let me know uh, collect information on the western church and report to Sethith um, you may find an informant among the students in the courtyard. Mm, statue, that's cool. Got the statues. There's something else. Anything over here? Mm, nothing over here. Um. What question is how many of the students do I have to find? I know at least two were singers. One of them's in my uh my class. It's a fake door. Huh? Oh.
see a bunch of purple arrows. I wonder what that means. They're, uh... I haven't talked to Ash. Manuela's not a student. With the other, yes, she is. She's one of the singers. I don't think Shamir is in anybody's class. Who knows? Oh, there's a thing right there. Oh, this is students from the Black Eagle House who wish to participate in the choir. Oh, psh, that's it. Her thing's still missing, but I don't know where <clears throat> it would have gone. What question is where do I go to learn about the Western Church? That's so. The other question is, can we actually find Dorothea's scarf? Thingy? Whatever she was talking about. Let's teleport back. My savior, thank you. Thank you for your assistance. I'm sure there are more music lovers on the monastery, so feel free to invite anyone to participate in choir practice. I'll make all the necessary preparations when the time comes. Yes. Wait, was that it's like the first person <coughs> um, to participate in choir, choir practice? So I probably want to pick one of these, right? Because they have the affinity thing. Uh, let's pick our good old buddy Dorothea, I think. I wonder if I should choose one of the other ones. Well, let me just try and max out their uh, oh, second person. Fine. Sure. Oh, this will take uh, waste time, actually. Hmm, that's fine. I'll, I'll do this. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention, but. How loud is too loud? Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. What? Nice. Authority experience. Yeah, I think faith is for um, white magic or healing. I'm not sure about authority. What do I do to learn more about church? There's something else. Oh. So inside the Saint, Saint. now that mm -hmm. quests this month only. Oh, in the courtyard, you may find a farm among the students in the courtyard. Let's go there then. Where's the courtyard? Where's the courtyard? There's no courtyard. So <laughs> no courtyard. You're just lying to me. If any of you 
so just fast talk with people. And one of them has to be a uh, informant. I'm both. Do you you know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me. Not me. Afraid to go in there. Some night he is. What's this? Amiibo gazebo. This is the amiibo gazebo. When you scan an amiibo here, certain items will appear at random in the monastery in all your save files. You will get higher quality items for scanning Fire Emblem character amiibos. Now each Fire Emblem character amiibo may also provide unique rewards. I do not have any of those. Um, guys, just walk into the students. Oh, here's something. I guess if you what these guys that said, I hear you sounds like professor your performance in the mock perhaps it is better if you if you spend that reminds me I've been here yet Simon is the drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one on one battle, which is better, strength or skill? Um, probably skill, to be honest. <laughs> you might be right, but when it's all said and done, oh. I still think muscle. Oh, I'm talking top. to this guy. <laughs> I should have went muscle. My bad. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this. Oh. Cloth. Kind of weird. Found something. I'm not really sure what it is, but it works great for. Oh no! Can we have it back? Hey there, professor. Oh, not really. Sure. Oh, <laughs> that's a Dorothy is thingy. Now that you're all the way over here, professor. Can all the way over here. Training? After training, I love <laughs> tending to the horses or burying myself in a good pile of books. <sighs> There's truly nothing better. For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal, nothing more. He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. What? <laughs> Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? Out. My sword broke. Um, I guess there's nothing in here. So what we can tell Dorothea about her scarf <laughs> is being used by Thespar, is that his name? Hey there. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming this is the courtyard, but... Oh, here it is. Even people from That's far good. off lands gather here at the academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. Found it. Alright. Try to finish this out so we can get to some battling. My thanks. Okay, so the rumors are spreading. Still, it'd be ill advised to move against a fellow followers of the faith. Even so, this is good information to have. Thank you. Right, I think we are done here. We've got a steel sword. Sweet. I'm um, just gonna use the time one more time. 
said time a little too many times. Uh, let's do this one. Eat with some of our students. Talk to you. Would you kindly do something oh. for me? I'm fresh out of SP ideas. Say, perhaps you could find some for me? Maybe a student or the library cookbooks can spark some inspiration. Let me know, will you? Like recipes for the head chef. The library has quite a few cookbooks with interesting recipes. You might even try your hand at cooking once you have permission to. Alright. <clears throat> I guess we went to the library then. I'm really glad we can fast travel. <laughs> it's kind of a pain to find our way there. Tantalizing cookbook. How many cookbooks are we gonna get? Classic cookbook. Illustrious cookbook. Alright, let me go back. Now I feel I'm not going to do much fishing. Mainly because I'd rather level up my... <laughs> yeah. The port levels. Ooh, let's uh, get her out of her shell. Uh, allies gain max 3 HP for the rest of the month. Luck. Defense. Too bad I can't get something like that. Maybe 3 XP is good. Like the uh, HP. Sounds fun! Let me show you my cooking talent. A little more secret spice. Secret spice? Hey! No peeking! Secret spice! Aha! It's actually really good. Ooh, plus two support. Oh, we are done here. Uh, this will end today's free time. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Alright, time for our first real assignment outside of the borders. Well, I can tell you how it works based on what I've heard from other professors. What's this? <clears throat> when you instruct your students, they gain experience. Uh, skill experience. As their skill ex uh, levels increase, they will gain abilities or access to new abilities in combat arts. The number of people you can instruct is di uh, indicated by your activity points at the top of the screen. When you set up a group task, the students you assign will continue the task until you change it. After the first round of instruction each month, the students may come to you with a question. They will be motivated if they like your answer. Before starting a lecture, it's a good idea to determine everyone's academic goals. Students will want to prioritize studying things that will help them achieve their aim. Students study on their own and earn skill experience according to their skill goals. Results are reported at the end of each week. You can alter students' goals at any time using the goals menu. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their personal goals as well. By looking beyond their preferences, some students may find they're interested in fields they've never previously oh. considered. A three-star uh, mark next to a skill indicates that you will... Unlock a budding talent after a certain amount of instructing. Once you unlock a budding talent, and that person will go on to excel in that particular skill. And they may even learn a new ability or combat art. A student's goals may change based this on is very intuitive <laughs> compared to the other Fire Emblems I played. When that happens, perhaps you could help them decide what new goals they should set. Lance and Bow. As students improve from instructing and personal study, they may approach you with suggestions for new goals. Whether to accept their suggestions or not is completely up to you. Feel free to guide your students along paths of their own choosing, or your own choosing. How motivated a student is will affect how well your tutoring goes. 
to help cultivate their motivation, I think it's a good idea to interact with your students as much as possible. Please try your best to motivate everyone so that they, in turn, will try hard with their assignments and activities. Let's get motivated. You can instruct students with high motivation more frequently. One way to increase motivation is to interact with your students around the monastery. At the Officers Academy, students are encouraged to engage in various activities in and around the monastery. If you instruct your students to work together as a team, it will help to deepen their bonds and produce better results. You can assign one group <clears throat> tasks each week. Students who take part will earn skill experience uh, based on your choice. You can also get gold and resources by completing these tasks. The result of a group task will depend on the student's strengths, weaknesses, and affinity for one another. Have you heard about oh, yes. the certification exams? They take place every month. Everyone here is working hard to become a certain type of soldier. And those tests are how you can check to see how far we've come. In order to pass the exam, you need to train enough to become whatever class you're aiming for. Take care to develop your students strategically so that they can pass their certification exams. I do like how they have the <clears throat> original like character models for each class. Yeah, you know, it's a good Easter egg <laughs> for those who you know played the older Fire Emblems. When you pass a certification exam, you can change to a new class. Benefits of higher, high tier classes include increased stats and growth rates. Hmm, I wonder if... I really wonder how the leveling system works then. So I wonder if they just keep leveling, but depending on their class, like it says, it increases stats and growth rates. So maybe it's better to just like, funnel them into a class right away. Seems that that is most important. Okay. Let's see here. It's like someone to instruct. Uh, how about Miss Adele? Excuse me. She can learn a lot of things. Um, I should probably try to buff this to uh, D soon so she can use the stronger swords for the future that was actually our own uh, expertise we have four sessions or maybe i shouldn't even uh teach her anything actually just probably teach these other folk jeff Let's see something. Yeah, we are good with swords. Swords and fists, apparently. And also authority. <clears throat> uh, let's see. So let's leave... I guess let's train somebody that doesn't have any D-ranked skills. I might even do him anyways, because... Um, magic's kind of whatever. Let's see, you have a D in that. So I should... Oh, I didn't even use her. I think it's her. I didn't even use her. From him. Well, actually... Yeah, I didn't use these two in the last... Battles. Oh, I definitely need to level her up. Alright, so let's level you. That plus eight. Well, she can become a Pegasus Knight. Well, the ones with three stars, eventually, uh, they really want to learn it. Yeah, she wants to learn Sword and Reasoning, so let's just bump her. Oh, what? What happened? Soul. Motivation increased. <laughs> oh, Professor, you're too kind. <laughs> what happened? Uh, let's do it one more time. Good. Right. 
Wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Does that mean I can switch somebody else? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, she wants reasons of the books. This. Nice. Okay. So every. She's like done for today. <laughs> so I could choose three students because I have two more students I can choose. And each student I get. Um, however many times I could uh, instruct them. Uh, let's do you, Lindhart. Well, this guy only wants to do um, magics. And doesn't have any three star thingies. Um. Let's see. I don't care about that. How about you? I can make you a, a lance user out of nowhere. Authority. Like authority. Yeah, sure. Great. Your instruction has been beneficial. Perfect. He's all in hand. <laughs> Motivation increased. Flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> nowhere but everywhere. Okay. Um Oh wow. Also oh, as long as the uh, bar still has yellow left, you will keep learning. Great. Your instruction has been beneficial. Can it interest you in using a, a lance? Oh. Great. Your instruction has been beneficial. Right. Mm, let's just use the last one on the lance. Good. All right, now one more student. Maybe I should focus on Adele, Adele Guard. Just so she can, can carry us. <laughs> she gave that. Sindre laughed. Sindre laughed. Praise isn't necessary, really. <laughs> Not necessary, but she likes it. I still have much to learn. Um, accent authority. Perfect. Yeah, let's get her to rank D. I still have much to learn. A. You learn Wrath Strike. I'm getting closer. All right, um, let's do one thing about authority, I think. <coughs> Wait, isn't this the our strength as well? It was. Maybe because our own um, rank <coughs> is not a D rank. Uh, let's just do this then. I still have much to learn. And that's it. You do not have enough activity points to auto instruct. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Anyways, uh, I think we're done. Group tests. Where's his flying skills? Where's heavy armor? Riding. Hmm. I don't know how this helps with heavy armor, but it's whatever. I think there's stuff that can learn flying, so let's uh do well. See, there, this are flying. 
Maybe horses is better. Oh. More to, uh, to clean the stables and feed the horses. Expect the result. Let me look at this one. Well, she likes uh, <laughs> being in heavy armor, looks like. Which honestly makes sense, because you know, she's like a, a hermit. Likes to stay in, so I'll just keep her inside some armor. It should be fine. I don't know what that, like, extra arrow on top means. Mm, guess let's choose it. <coughs> Execute. Everybody's goals. Everyone, mm, those three are tired. We're done. Expect the unit to set their goals. I'll say I think for the first playthrough I should just let them be whatever. Plus I really can tell that I need to switch up stuff. Um. Okay. Uh, pretty soon I'll have eaten everything they have to offer in the dining hall. But what am I supposed to do? Keep eating the same boring meals over and over? If you try cooking something new, you could suggest a new dish of your own. You should just enjoy what you got. Definitely one of these two. Um, You could suggest a new dish of your own. You should try cooking something new. I think maybe suggest. Makes sense to me. Yeah. What well, if that's the best choice? Well, that's a lot of pressure level. <laughs> Let's get to work. Oh no, this is impossible. <laughs> yes, a lot of weeds. Look, Professor, we did great. Perfect. Yeah. Four points between the two increased. I received one thousand gold and five smithing stones. Sweet. <clears throat> ah, it's clear to me now. I'll be magic. Nice. It's uh, Raphael's birthday. Sure. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Love the birthday flowers. <clears throat> we have not fought yet. Oh, there's a battle right now. <laughs> Alright, so before we do that, I'm going to take a quick break. And we'll come back and uh, do our first battle.
Okay, so I'm back. And we are finally going to do a battle. Auxiliary battles are now available. How often you can battle is limited by your activity points indicated on the at the top of the screen. Uh, on normal difficulty, some auxiliary battles will not cost activity points. Uh, if you head into battle while playing online, you may see the spirits of those who perished on other players' battlefields. They are more likely to appear in places where death is frequent. Spirits that appear in this shade indicate an area where many enemy units have fallen. You can collect items that were dropped by the vanquished. Spirits that appear in this shade indicate an area where many allied units were uh, lost. They can impart blessings such as experience or restored equipment durability. Um, sure. <clears throat> so apparently it's not PvP unless you, you know, choose. PvP. Um, so that's level three. All right. <clears throat> I practice battle with the Knights of Seros, set up to simulate real battlefield uh, condi conditions. I can't do this yet until I'm level three, apparently. It should be against the bandits, yeah. All right, let's just do this. Deploy for a practice battle. Yes. Yeah. The White Clouds Chapter 2 Familiar Scenery. In battle, it's necessary to deploy battalions so that students can experience... Oh, what if we get to just have all of our party members? I need to say this to a mercenary like you, but if you have any questions about how to use your soldiers, please don't hesitate to ask. Signing battalions. If you hire a battalion, you'll need to decide who will lead them. Battalions can contain soldiers like mages and monks who don't fight with weapons. Be sure to think carefully about who would benefit most from the support of battalion soldiers and their specific skills. Now use the inventory menu to assign battalions to your units, granting them increased stats like attack or hit rate. <clears throat> These stats will grow further as a battalion gains experience fighting alongside you. When you deploy a battalion, gambit. you can utilize its special gambit in battle. If a gambit is successful, your enemy will be severely shaken. Severely shaken. Units hit by gambits will be rattled. Rattled units cannot move. <clears throat> Use gambits or... <coughs> um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Or benefit from battalions and suffer a 10% penalty to all stats. Joining forces with a nearby ally is a surefire way to enhance your effectiveness. Now, when a gambit is used on an enemy within the attack range of one or more of, more of your other units, it will become a gambit boost. The might and hit rate of the gambit will increase based on the number of units participating in their, and their support levels. Yeah, so we're using everybody, so that's nice. Of course, we can just gain more class members if we want. I think so far, Ferdinand and Caspar and Eldegard are... Main, our our main um and of course uh you know byleth but those are our main oh, i guess also petra our main um like soldier units everyone else is kind of like well i guess lindhard also uh can become one eh, i guess we have a good amount of like sword wielders and stuff Apparently we could have 10. We really have 9 out of 10 <clears throat> being deployed. Um, fight. In the battle, route the enemy. All of your units fall in battle. Now I think I'm just gonna have everybody run into the forest. Cause why not? Uh, these guys are lances coming up, so let's uh, equip the axe. Put me in there. Put me in there. Uh, 
Oh, they're all like. Oh, these are all spear guys. <laughs> Crazy. Stay focused. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Looks like an intense battle took upon this place here. You found something uh, next to one of the fallen. Got a sword, nice. Let's put away the steel sword. I should probably put away the Volmer area too. Some gauntlets. Uh, come get some. Or oh, they're gonna come through the forest too. Oh, we do about the same amount of damage. But their hit rate is a lot lower. That was nothing. That was nothing. Oh, got him. She knows thunder. Finish him. And I didn't even enjoy it. Oh, missed the uh, magic buff. Actually, just push through the forest a little bit. That battalion thing. Awesome. <clears throat> Why not just do it with the iron sword? Hmm. Witness 
I can't say how that works, but I'll take it. Alright, Violet, finish him. Mm, I'll take some damage. I probably should have just uh, used the axe and get two attack, two attacks uh, against them. For more experience. Sixty-nine. Nice. Oh, what? Eat it. You are not. You are nothing. Oh. <laughs> the noble standard. Always sad when I don't get any strength. That's okay. Jesus. Okay. You should have done that. Well, the accuracy is very low. <laughs> I guess that's why it's rusted. <laughs> Here we go. Ow. Doesn't one of our characters have heal? Go which one. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the worst roll. <laughs> worst roll possible. I 
Yeah, she's taking a beating. <clears throat> Which one do I want to kill? Hardly worth my time. I still have a long way to go. Got him. I think, yeah, that's the guy with the heel. That's a far away. <laughs> Smash. It's not smashing enough. I'll probably use a vulnerary just in case. For the 19th month subscription, how are you? How's life? Uh, let's see. I'm playing through some more Fire Emblem with three houses. Yeah, this game has a lot more. Um, like side stuff that I'm used to. That has no damage whatsoever. That's not even worth <laughs> attacking. Mm. I'll do it anyway, though, so just for the experience. Oh my gosh, you missed. That's okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Ow! Take that. Aha! Aha! <laughs> one damage. One damage gave me one experience. Now. Now. Don't kill me, bro. Don't kill me. Aha! We gotta start killing off some of these people. It's getting a little dangerous. It's 
20 damage, hell yeah. Lay it down. Each battle, a chance to grow. Nice, another level up. <clears throat> nice, another attack up. Ooh, we got some money. You can't carry anything else. Get rid of these. Worthless gauntlets. Uh, I should definitely heal. Heal somebody. Finish him. Well, how is that? Oof. I'll be fine. I'm fine. I'm dying. Uh, let's kill this guy. Hopefully he doesn't miss. I already did miss. Cool. <laughs> it says 93 hit, but like, so that's 7 away from 100%. It means he can miss, and that'd be very annoying. <clears throat> for one. <clears throat> Him with the magic. This guy's hella dead. He's not dead yet. He needs one more damage. Or two more damage, actually. Let's guarantee the kill. Yeah, right now I'm just like spamming attacks so that everyone gets a little bit of experience. <laughs> Cause you get a little bit every time you land a hit. Nice. Too, you know? <clears throat> Let's just block. Oh yeah, you can't. Uh, we just attack. Oh, hopefully this uh, kills him. Has hit twice though. Ah, oh, dang it! Ow. All right, that's fine. Too bad I already used both of her magic attacks. Unfortunately, I only have this training sword, so I'm not gonna do that much damage at all. Ow. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, and Dorothea is a mage. So we need more magic books for her, but. Nice. That's one thing I guess I don't like is that <clears throat> the magic's like, you don't have to rebuy tomes and stuff. Um, you just don't have that many casts per fight. So you really have to like, use them sparingly. <laughs> really, I guess I should, uh... Hey, MVP. I should, um... Just get a better sword onto the casters. Renown increased. Okay, yeah, pretty much anybody can use almost any weapon as long as their skill is high enough. Uh, if it isn't, then of course uh, they won't be able to use it. But yeah. Well, so for those who uh, just joined, I am recovering from uh, getting sick over the weekend. <clears throat> um, just instruct manually. It seems I'd be getting sick a lot more often than I should be, but I mean, that's just me pushing myself to <laughs> go play volleyball when I probably should just stay home. <clears throat> um, oh, it's a... Uh, Level up these two. 
pretty much you want to level up those who have like maximum motivation. Um, this guy's close, but Bernadetta is definitely ready to learn. <laughs> yeah, this system is very intuitive. Like, holy crap, there's so much to do here. Um, Let's definitely level up Lance so that she can use an Iron Lance. Perfect. I know. <laughs> Praise. She has for every uh, <clears throat> yellow segment they have on their little bar and you get to instruct them once. And then every perfect uh, they get, you I'm assuming you get a chance to motivate them further to keep going. Oh, only good. Uh, so good is um, the base amount of experience. Great, you get 1.5 experience, and perfect, you get two times the experience. So hopefully, I can get another perfect here. Oh, great! So close. Unfortunate. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and level up. And now she can use, I believe, uh, I think a steel lance. So I believe iron lances are um, E rank training, training and rusty. Uh, you know, of that type of weapon, I believe anybody can use just because it's a piece of crap. <laughs> I think I got um, it. Let's see here. What else can we? Let's have her start to learn this. Maybe eventually she can become a cavalier. That'd be good. We can definitely use a horse, horseback uh, rider. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the way she's cheering because she's like so. Her eyes are kind of lifeless, <laughs> but um, he's just so happy. All right, let's uh, do Caspar next, just because again he's also pretty high in motivation. So let's see what he wants. Uh, he likes axe and brawling. Oh, we can buff this guy to C. Actually, D plus. I believe he goes D to D plus before it goes to the next grade level. <clears throat> and again, depending on the grade level, they can wield certain um, rarity of that uh, weapon. So I'm not quite sure what D plus weapons there are, um, but definitely C would be kind of like the um, kind of like the. Sp Special, like uh, hammers, hammers one, maybe the killer uh, rank items. <clears throat> killer rank items gives uh, the person extra crit rate, which would be nice. <clears throat> and honestly, I've only seen like one or two crit attacks in this game so far, and it's not as spectacular as in the original like Game Boy Advance <clears throat> and original like DS games because it usually has an extra animation that gives the crit animation but I haven't yet seen it thanks for your help thanks for your help um I'm gonna try oh dang it all right let me just give it over here dang. <laughs> unfortunate mainly because it's not in our specialty um I kind of don't want to do any, like, either of these. I think I will teach Petra, only because she's only level 1. <laughs> she hasn't leveled up at all. <clears throat> yeah, so the blue means it's their strength. It's something they want to learn. It's part of their skill goals. Uh, the finger, <laughs> whatever. Just means that our character, uh, Byleth, um, has mastery of that uh, type that's higher than um, the character we're teaching. And of course, down means it's the weakness, so she does not want to learn magic whatsoever, which is fair. She just want to smash things. <clears throat> um, looking at the weapon types, it looks like she can become a Viking. At least um, that's what I remember, <clears throat> I remember Vikings having access to. 
sword, axe, and a bow. Um, so let's let's just buff axe. Ooh, perfect. Nice. Praise. You are giving me praise? Yes, I am. I will get more soon. Let me just tell you you're the best. Um Fortunately I don't have enough to buff it. Unless it's a great. I think if it's a great. No, great's not enough. We need perfect. Darn. <laughs> we didn't get it. It's okay. Alright, so we're out of lessons, which is fine. Can we do another group task? Oh, yeah, we can. Well, Ferdinand definitely loves horseback riding. I think uh, you wanted horseback riding too. Yeah. Let me see something. Uh, Let's so yeah. see. I think for this first playthrough, I'm just going to keep what are the default goals for their skills are. Um, though maybe like later on in the playthrough, <clears throat> I might need like a certain like class or something so that I can like alter their classes if necessary, but I think we're good. We're good. Right. Let's move on. Saint Immaculate Day is today. There will be a hymn recital in the cathedral. Will you participate? Why not? Gotta participate in everything. Yeah! I'll sing so loud that my voice is gonna reach the sky! <laughs> Must I? Fine. But I will sing it solemnly. Solemnly. <laughs> Bonds among the three of you grew significantly stronger. The three of you gained a significant amount of faith experience. Barlas gained a significant amount of authority experience. I wonder if it was arbitrary on who went with us to go sing. It is a perfect day to exert oneself. Is that a horse goat? <laughs> what the heck? No, this is impossible. Amazing, no? How uh, was it perfect? Because <laughs> one of them was like hating their lives. <clears throat> but nice. Oh, yeah. I won't forget all I've learned. Oh, yeah, I forget that they actually, um, like learn on their own. And so even though our specific instruction didn't like level them up and stuff. Uh, they still gain more uh, skill over the course of the week. That's nice. The battlefield has much to teach. And the magic admire be whatever that means. Seems simple enough. And prowess level two. It's starting to take shape. Ooh, wind. Let's put this to the test. Fading blow. I'm a quick study. One step before the next step. <laughs> Nice. We're getting buff. Skill wise, anyways. We're still pretty low leveled. <clears throat> I think that was only our second, I can say, third battle ever in this game. But you have allies who can take beginner exams. Take a look at certifications to review which they can take. Oh, wow. They just gave us five. Okay, cool. Hell yes. <clears throat> can we save? It's okay. Uh, it's not a lecture to hold a seminar that will increase unit's experience, skill, motivation, certifications, taking exam. Also, oh, we can turn ourselves into a Miramond or whatever the axe is. Well, that's it. <laughs> Nobody else can do that. Now, let me see something. I wonder why we're able to. Why are we able to?
Yep, Miramond. I love how it's question mark because they don't know what it is, but it says Miramond right right underneath. <laughs> but yeah, definitely wields the sword. Especially Swift with high avoidance. And the Miramond definitely wields the sword. What about the axe? I think it's a fighter. Because the <clears throat> bandits are the ones that use axes, but we can't, you know, become a bandit, obviously. <clears throat> so I believe it's a fighter class. Proficient with the axe, the bow, and gauntlets. The fighter, yep, it's the fighter has high strength that translates to mighty blows. Oh, here's like the super advanced. Okay, so you have to be level 5. Okay. Starting to make a lot more sense. Okay, so I think right away, especially if we want to funnel ourselves into certain classes, which is what we shall be doing. Um, I'm assuming our axe, axe and sword are at E and D. <clears throat> but I wonder why we're not able to, like, say. Um, test to become this or that. Um, snipers. It's monthly allowance, 2k. Oh, and brawling. <clears throat> yep. I should really use more sword then. I think because she has sword prowess to, uh, level 2, <clears throat> I should probably become a Miramond. There's no reason not to. And plus, that's like the circle on it. <clears throat> um, like someone to take the exam. So we get to choose, right? Octa passing 65%. But we can be 100% passing with the Miramond. Like that outfit. Yeah, this one's kind of ooh. That's <laughs> so. Bialis is pretty busty. But anyways, mm. oh, that's why it's not like circle or whatever because I don't have bow and brawl at D or higher. I have axe at D, I believe. Or maybe I didn't. Even, I don't even have an idea either. <clears throat> How many beginner seals do I need? Just one, right? Pretty sure I just need one <clears throat> to be able to take the test, the beginner seal. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and level her up. So otherwise, I could technically, you know, switch gears and have her do all this other stuff to uh, boost into that. But the only problem is. Yeah, so once you become a specific class, then all your stats kind of like funnel into certain ones that are good for that class. And so this one's probably dexterity, agility, and strength. Um, maybe even uh, luck as well <clears throat> for crits. Um, so if I, you know, evolve her now or whatever, <clears throat> then her stats will start funneling into those. Um, I switch over to this. I get like, you know, HP, strength, defense, not get um, speed or dexterity. Um, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll, let me just go ahead and do this. Become my Miramond. Oh, so, so epic. <laughs> this test to become a Miramond. She's like, easy. Say, like, that's why I'm your professor. A new path to tread. Oh, Bylas actually has a voice. I didn't realize that. Change from current class into the new certified class? Yes, please. So I'm assuming, yeah, you can equip, right? Whichever you want. Interesting. Yeah, so we had to get everyone to level 5 before they can evolve. I'm trying to level up everyone, you know, accordingly, but some people just don't do that much damage or whatever. <clears throat> That's the only downside. Um, let's go ahead and do another seminar. 
Seminars. Those you select to lead seminars will instruct others in their areas of expertise. Higher skilled instructors grant more skill experience to those who attend. Uh, people choose to attend a seminar based on how well the subject matches their skill goals. Those with high motivation are more likely to attend. Mm. I should probably choose one that has more attendees. So probably one of the middle two. Just because you have five attendees instead of... Um... <clears throat> There four. Even then, Violet is one of them, sure, but you know, she can't uh, technically attend her own seminar, I guess. And she won't gain <clears throat> her own stats or whatever. Um, question is, which one do I want to do? Lance. Oh. I think I want to make sure Adele, <laughs> Eldegard. Um, levels up her skills pretty quick because she's going to be a main player in our playthrough because she's the uh, class leader. So let's uh, let Seteth uh, lead this first seminar. Del, why are you sitting by yourself? The battlefield has much to teach. S <laughs> Only one gained a level, that's okay. That one's really close. Motivation of attendees increased by 50. Oh, someone's birthday. Mercedes' birthday. No problem. Oh. Something special happening today. Perfect timing, Professor. Oh, I've just received word I see. From the night. We can finally they do our first be... real, real mission where people can die. Seems they have them but cornered. I turned it off, so no one's actually gonna die. The Red Canyon. I can't wait to get started. I'll strike down those heinous thieves before they know what hit them. Charge ahead if you must, Caspar. Just do not put the rest of us in danger. I'm going back. <laughs> Bernadetta, no. I don't want to get hurt. Don't worry, Burn. It's just some bandits. A well, bandits. No at all. Eh, don't get ahead of yourselves. Unfounded optimism isn't a great strategy. Let's just get this over with. There is nothing to get over. We will work with each other to achieve our mission. Uh, you seem excited to get out there. It's time, Professor. Give us our orders and let's move out. Let's do it. It seems like every month <clears throat> there's one major battle. Oh, let me see. Check the marketplace. Let me sell these like booty <laughs> things. A way to... Uh, doesn't look like it. One gill. Or gold. Um, I realize it has no extra damage. And so if you look at the stat, there's MT, which is like amount of damage. Um, it's zero. <laughs> Usually you get like eight, you see it says eight, five, so on and so forth, but... Has zero. Even the training swords have something, but these rusted ones. Booty. <laughs> it's nothing. Um, there's really no point in uh, keeping them. But. Um, I think I'll just leave them in the bank since it doesn't really matter. Let's sell this thing for some change. I think I really need to buy anything, right? I could technically uh, boost my um, lance if I want to, but I kind of don't want to. Let's get rid of that rusted bow. Can I? We don't have blacksmith yet. What about items? 
which gives vis visibility and fog. I really wish. Oh, that's probably the one um, <laughs> character I should get. But one of the classes has a thief as one of their um, units, so I should probably find that guy and recruit him <laughs> into our class because we definitely want a thief later on. So we can unlock doors and chests for free, so we don't need these keys. Um, how many things I can buy just one at a time? I'll just buy those two. Um, you. Can't you use a bow? Anyways. Do I have extra bow in my um, convoy? There's a mini bow. But I can use that close range. So no, we do not have an extra <clears throat> bow. Um, I think I want Hubert to have a bow. Well, actually I'm not 100% sure what I want him to become. I could probably give him a lance. He has rank E. But he eventually he's gonna want to level up his dark arts. Whatever. Later on. Just gotta make sure everyone has a sword. I really need to give her a better sword. She was struggling. I do have another uh, steel sword. Um, inventory. <laughs> hey, where's her? Oh, she's already right, equipped. Okay. Uh, trade with the convoy. Wait, convoy? Trade with the convoy. That's a training sword as well. I'm still not quite sure how this um, battalion works. There's three battalions right here. I'll just leave those three as is. Unfortunately, I can't um, well, oops. <clears throat> with the convoy because I know the convoy has an extra steel sword because I put it in there yeah, right there I can give that to 
you, Dorothea. Let me get rid of this training sword. Pretty much I want to get rid of all the training swords. How much are the, uh, steel? Oh, that's not what I want to be. Hungry, please. Steel is a thousand. Alright, maybe I don't want to do that. Just buy some extra, extra weak stuff. Hey, Mace is getting its heavy armor. That's good. Alright, let's just go into the mission. Apply for Red Canyon Dominance? Yes, please. Most deployed. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem, Dorothea. I am grateful. Anybody else? <laughs> Does anybody else want to say anything? Okay. Alright, so this is our first official mission as the Black so Eagles. We are taking children into battle, are we? I mean, I'm not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. You ought to say it like that. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. Uh, press the ZL button during the player phase to trigger or trigger Divine Pulse. At the end of each battle, Divine Pulse uses will be recharged. It was re was Divine Pulse do? <clears throat> they won't tell us. Why can't I get anything out of the convoy? Convoy! There we go. Sick. Nice. That's fine. I guess he could technically technically take the the bow. Yeah, I really need to get rid of that <coughs> rusted bow. Wait, doesn't he want the gauntlets? Let's give that back. I think he wanted the gauntlets. Let me check their um, like abilities. So she definitely wants sword. Axe. She definitely has an axe. Let's see, axe grants hit, avoidance, crit avoidance. So it just improves... Um, like dexterity for that weapon type. Yes. Bow prowess. Faith. What's that faith level 2 mean? 
Mm, this is not really necessary. Unless I'm using like offensive white magic, but we're not gonna get any offensive white magic early. <laughs> early on. Um honestly she could become a fighter. I might make her into a fighter when the time comes. Because she has all three of these prowesses. Lance and Bow is probably Cavalier, eventually. I think she can be a, um... What's it called? A uh, soldier, I think that's the class. There's warrior. Um, mage, for sure. Uh, I think white mage. Healer. Uh, I think it's called a priest. I really need to get one more. I'm gonna get that thief next time I go um, roaming around the uh, monastery. Alright. Begin. Defeat the enemy commander. All of units of fallen battle. So, this is the Red Canyon. A ruin of sorts by the look of it. Let's end this quickly. The thieves must have been driven back. Be careful, or the cornered mice might bite us. Mm. The knights chased us all the way here. Was that guy? Same Gee, bandits. Let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth. <laughs> Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death. Okay. Professor, I hear there's a back road to the west. Why don't we split up and I attack see from both the west and the front? If we advance tactfully, we can attack our enemy from both sides. I leave the rest to you. Regardless, we must cross the bridge first. I'm assuming she did not mean that way. Gives me cross the bridge and then we can go left. There's a chest. Oh, he has the key. Oh, this guy can use a uh, gambit. Yeah, we can definitely go both ways. Alright. Well. Let's just stack our people so that we can all get across almost at the same time. Stay focused. That's my cue. That's a big change <laughs> in damage. Turn from eight to thirteen. Battle. 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 Oh, nice! And now that he's learned wind, we can use both. <laughs> um, I don't want everyone else to gain. That's okay. So these guys should be weak against swords. They're pretty high attack, though. Um, that's okay. Let's bring our sword users up. Yeah, Violet is technically a sword user, so let's switch it over. We just have casters all over the place. As you wish. Come get some. Ow. Oh, he's gonna die. <laughs> Maybe I should have not put <laughs> Byleth in front. Should I have held back? He has way too much damage. <clears throat>
Move everybody else ahead. Do I want to level up? And I kill him like this. I can. I should. Shoot him in his back. Oh no. You're doing fine. Keep it going. Coming. Coming. Mm, before I do that, let me see if I can actually... this guy follow up with the heal? Yeah, I can. Cool. Chose the wrong guy. You can't shake the vision of an ally following battle. It feels like this place is under some sort of protection. Oh, nice. Nice. That was interesting. Curb shot. Oh, nice. Actually, shoot this guy. And kill him. <laughs> so how'd that hit me? Nice. But that did not kill him. The heck? I read that incorrectly. That's crazy, I can do 17 damage with this bow. <laughs> Even though... This rusted bow doesn't have any... Attack on it, I don't think. Fine, I'll kill you. Oh wait, I did not switch to the bow. Oops. <laughs> Ow. Oh, what? Why do you get two hits? Can you see that? It's like you need healing to me, sir.
Ooh. I could have been sleeping this whole time. <laughs> could have been sleeping this whole time. Could have. But you're here helping us out. We get to hit twice too. I oh, can't tell what's better. Eight or eleven? I guess eleven. I had to move that. It's from three spaces away. So mind if I do? I don't think he can hit me. Oh, he can hit me. What? Cheating. It's okay. I try to cheat first. You. He's dirty. Ow. I think I should try to get to uh, level five with uh, the guard. ASAP. So she can become her uh, main class. Oh, it does just enough damage to kill. Well, I did 24. <laughs> so much damage. This works. We have one HP left and we can let um, Dorothy finish him. I've got many skills, you know. Come on, magic. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> well, like what you see. What's up, you increase so, magic? I guess so. Got another rusted bow. Let's send these to the. And those way. Heal you first. Don't want you to die. Thanks for helping. That's what you think. Like, give me that shit. Uh, let's put her in the forest. Uh, let's split. Elder Guard and our girl. Byleth.
We have our flanking attack right here. Put me in there. I'm in the game, coach. Attack. Oh. Probably has a rusted bow. Wait there. Aha. Oh, crit. Damn. That's all I'm talking about. I think that uh, was a good, good crit. Ow. Oh. That did not crit, but that did something else. Interesting. Oh no, what's going on? Oh. That was kind of scary, actually. What? I'm really not used to these battalions and what they do. Let's let Ferdinand take care of this scumbag. He's not dead. Yeah, finish him. Poke. Was beneath me. These ruffians are no match for a noble like me. You tell him. Uh, let's get Petra leveled up here. Where's my healer? Oof, I'm be down to <clears throat> four HP, but I think I'll be okay. That's a Miramon stats if I uh, need anything better or something like that. Uh, chests and doors can be unlocked with the appropriate keys. Move the unit with the key to unlock the chest or door and they will have the option to unlock it. Units with the lock touch ability can open uh, chests and doors without keys. People and beasts are as one. Calm your heart and do not be worried about this killing. Maybe she wants to be a wyvern knight. What about beasts? Experience. We must all do our That's not bad. It's still raring to go. Apparently, I can't run on that for a reason. a lot of magic that I don't need. I cannot move. <clears throat> That's why. Alright, what well, was in the turn there? Uh-oh. Miss baby. Right. 
Oh, let's try to heal. No, last heal. Ooh, Max. Master skills for Noble. Ooh. Plus 5 HP. That's really good. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just for switching the training sword, I get extra 4 damage in. Why not? <coughs> Aha! And a dodge. Alright. I'll go ahead and kill you with some thunder. You were wide open. <laughs> if I kill you. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, let's just level up our sword. Oh, it's a crit. Heck yeah. You fought well. That healed me too. <laughs> Impressive. All right, let's see here. So, pretty much got one magic for each side. We can let two magics be on this right side. But yeah, she can uh, open up that treasure chest. Miasma. <laughs> Reminds me of Shadow Ball from uh, Pokemon. Alright. Finish him. Well, let me see some real quick. <clears throat> I kind of want to turn into a fighter. She has the weapon stats for it almost already. She just needs bow to be leveled up. I can't get one right now. Failure is not an option. Oh, what? <laughs> That's a, a four stat roll right there. I'd say it's regrettable because it sucked. Ow. Big money. Mini bow. see. Probably want Dorothea. Get it. Do I want to keep this magic for later? Not necessarily. I think I'm good. 
Just take him out with his magic. Winning's always nice. Amen, sister. Oh. <laughs> Quite yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, ah, that sucked. Honestly, I should probably use these, like, rusted weapons with, like, my stronger characters, just so they don't do too much damage. Oh, nice Iron Lance. I'm gonna do it now. Oops. Okay, come as close as he wants. Ow. Rude. Rude. Wanted to chill a little bit here. Ow. Ow, why do you get to attack twice? It's not fair. Let's hit him with the bow. Okay, good damage. Too bad. Wow, I have like no accuracy at <laughs> 39. I didn't realize. But it hit anyways. What I'm talking about. Keep the accuracy. No spare tool. Oh, nice. Actually, uh, drains health. Ooh. Music. What's that? I, I killed them. I killed them. What have I done? <laughs> so what you think? <laughs> What's gonna happen out here? Beats are real. I meant to be careful because I'm dying here. Uh, I just want to kill that guy and then hide my other guy so that it can't get hit. My guy, is what? How much magic endurance do I have? <coughs> None. <laughs> I only have two. How much damage does this guy do? It's fair to. Why do their their heal has twenty charges? So you can do ten damage of ten magic damage. I have more than ten HP, so I'm good. Can gauntlets hit twice? Yes, it can. <laughs> I think I want to learn like fists. So I don't know what class. Has fists, but I definitely want it. Oh, double shot. Nice. I did. I did. <laughs> Nice. I just wish she had more strength, but that's okay. I can 
fight through anything. All right, who are we gonna hit? See, sir. Ah, missed. All right, let's see here. Um, you can do 18 damage. Its hit rate is 96. We can actually cheese him by hitting him from afar. So he's not going to move from that spot, which is nice. So we can yeah cheese the crap out of him. Can we heal? Oh yeah, we can. This for eleven, but like far away. Um, let's heal you. <laughs> Sweet. That's the cool thing about healers too, because <clears throat> they're gonna easily heal. <laughs> I really wonder if he's gonna move off this spot. I'm gonna test it out by shooting him. Us. Bingo. I'll kill you and your pesky brats. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot my accuracy is so low. That's okay. The glory of progress. Yeah, it's definitely okay. <laughs> I forget if you still get um like skill experience, weapon experience, even <laughs> if you miss. See here. Oh, this only does one to us, nice. Excuse me. Um I'll take that. How much damage is gonna do to me? We get four hits. Oh hell yeah! We probably do that. We'll get a shot in with my arrow. Oh what? I forgot she could do a double shot. Oh well, it's all good. Cause I don't want to kill any more people. You're doing great, girl. You're doing great. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. The last thunder here. We'll see. If he doesn't move off that space, then yeah, it's gonna be easy to kill. So when I play Fire Emblem, I always have two or three characters completely OP and the rest sucks balls. <laughs> oh no. Well, they, well, they just heal them nine. Jeez. Yeah, I try to level everyone evenly, just so that doesn't happen. Because <laughs> again, sometimes we need a full party of strong people. Hmm, but the, your way is also good too, because again, you can just like create a wall, right, of just your strong units, and your weaker units can shoot from behind if they have ranged uh, attacks. How's it going, Infinity? Glad to see you here. Hopefully, your week's been good so far. I know it's just Monday, but. Sucks as I am out of it just sucks. <laughs> Get away. Hmm. Mm. 
Let's see what he's okay. Boss is on vacation. Now what? Yeah, I'm just gonna let her chill, I think. This guy's gonna heal to full, unfortunately. That's a lot of healing. Nine healing. Too much. But I guess just so we can't, like, cheese him like this. <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna hit him eventually. We technically grind <laughs> experience like this. Trying to shoot at him and then... If it hits, then we get a pretty good amount of experience. Like, 8 to 10 experience. No reason. This guy's gonna level up pretty quick too. If only my research had such results. He's definitely gonna be our mage or our um, healer, I should say, bishop. I think it's priest first, then then bishop later on. Honestly, there's no reason to come from both directions, but whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> the truth is I am the second boss in our branch and everyone comes to me when they need someone to cry too. So you're pretty much like the first boss. I better heal this guy up. Unexpected. Unexpected. Put me in there. Not quite sure who I want to uh, take the final blow to kill. Technically, I do have enough range people to just whittle him down. So I just take my time. <clears throat> I don't think there's any penalties for taking too long. Um, I think later on there might be a penalty in which more reinforcements show up, but I don't think that's a bad idea. Or like, not such a bad thing. So I'm just getting everybody in place. It makes it so much easier when the guy can't move. I believe he has very low... Yeah, he has very low resistance. And so I can just... <clears throat> use magic to kill him. Wow, we can actually grind. Uh, by letting him heal a couple turns, actually. I don't know if I really want to do that, but we could. Might kill him though. Well, not quite. I do want him to level up. Actually, I don't think he will. He might level up. A lot of times the boss gives about 100 and something experience. Or do I want somebody else to take it? Maybe it's one of these should probably take it. Because it's such a low level. And we did get her to level 5, so that's good enough for me. Um, yeah, let's let one of these guys take it. Let's see, who would be better? Again, I don't think it really matters. But he's very close though. We should let her take it then. Since he just needs to like... Let's see. Uh, this might be perfect actually. 
I can do the two damage. Yeah. I'll definitely do the two damage. Oh, it's nice how I can attack right away. And then she can just take the kill. Yeah. Oh, with a crit! Wow. <laughs> so why do we get a crit all of a sudden? I should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. An idiot. <sighs> nice. <laughs> he is out of there. There it is. Level up. And she definitely won't be a mage at all. <laughs> but I will not misplace my heart. Show me more. Thank you for leading us, Professor. Though I suppose there was no way we could lose to a familiar foe. True. In any case, something about this canyon feels inexplicably strange. Stage complete. In 17 turns. MVP. Yeah, I don't think there's any incentive to beat it quickly. So I can just take my sweet time. I think. Sweet time to uh, kill. Mm, all right, I think that's gonna do it for me today. It's about 3 p.m. I need to eat and then get to work. Thanks so everyone for coming, saying hello. And I'll see you guys next time. I might come back later tonight, we'll see. No volleyball tonight. Um, yeah, I'm kind of recovering from being sick over the weekend, so I probably won't go to uh, one of the places I could play to or play at. <clears throat> but if I miraculously feel like I want to, then I will, but probably not.